Now that we've had a couple of days to digest the fantastic news of what's coming down with the Vessel of Hatred expansion, it got me thinking and I've gotten some DMs about this topic and it kind of got discussed in a couple of my streams. Are we going to expect that moving forward, Blizzard is going to adopt the same methodology? And what do I mean by that is, are we going to have to wait for expansions for the real meaty things to be added to this game? Now, let's ponder that topic. As we know, we've had a year now under the belt for Diablo 4, and I don't need to tell you, everybody knows it was a rocky one year, more bad than good, and literally the player base kicking and screaming and listing all the improvements that this game needed basically from day one. Now, all those kicks and screams and suggestions fell on deaf ears for literally the complete first year of this game. Not until the end of season three did we finally get a PTR, which led to this fantastic season, season four, Loot Reborn, and look at what's transpired. The game has been rejuvenated. The fanfare is exuberant. Everybody, for the most most part is happy and then we had another bomb drop and a big w on sunday with everything that's coming down with the vessel of hatred and after one year it looks like finally the devs at blizzard specifically the diablo 4 dev team has finally started listening but why all of a sudden? And some people have mentioned, wake up, Sammy. They're doing it because they need to justify the price tag of their yearly expansion. So is this going to be the model moving forward? Are we going to get drips and drabs of content? And while that's happening, we're going to be kicking and screaming, saying we need A, B, and C, and we're not going to get any of it. And then the expansion is going to come closer. And when we do get near the expansion time, they go and drop A, B, and C, and we fork out more money. Is this going to be the cycle in Diablo 4? Now, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if this is just the learning curve and the process of developing games. Maybe it's just coincidence that all the good stuff, the majority of the good stuff, is going to be tied to the Vessel of Hatred for the first expansion. However, only time will tell to see if this becomes the norm. And if it does, as we get more experience under our belt with how this game is being managed, will it shape and influence how you are going to make your purchasing decision? Will it change your mind? Let's say this does become a pattern. Okay, now we can't tell today because it's only been one year, but this game is going to have annual expansions. And if the model is like the first year, will this influence your deci future decisions of purchasing the yearly expansions in Diablo 4? I like to ponder that question and I want to hear your answer. This, quite, this video is not about what I think. I want to hear your comments because I'm really interested in hearing, number one, what do you think of this topic? Do you think that this could be a possibility? Or like I said, it's just part of the learning curve. They thought the way things that they were going to implement the game were going to work. It didn't. And it takes time to make things happen in video games. It's a live service after all. So this is just the way it happened in season, in the first year. It's not going to be the way it's going to happen in years coming. So do you believe that? Or do you believe that this is indeed the way they wanted it to happen? In other words, they knew what the problems were, but they were just feeding us along little drips and drabs, season one, season two, season three. And then season four is, you know, four or five months away from the expansion. So they drop season four, which is a success. And then they drop the 
amazing news of everything that's coming with the Vessel of Hatred. New class, new area, raids, pets, mercenaries. Is this going to be a pattern? Do you believe it one way or another? I wanted to I wanted to ponder this question because I'm being asked the same question from my community and I want to know what you guys think. I'll be honest with you. I don't have an answer yet. I don't know. I would hope that that's not the case, that when the vessel of hatred drops and they see, see the enormous the enormous applause it's going to get if it's delivered well, okay? Now, the expansion looks good on paper, but they still have to deliver on it, okay? So if they deliver on it, then the Vessel of Hatred expansion is going to be a banger, a big W. Look, I've had multiple people, the day of the announcement, I went live on stream and we discussed the Vessel of Hatred expansion news, basically my whole stream, and I had tons of people telling me they already pre-purchased it. Heck, you just got to log in the game today and you see everybody with the mount, you know, a lot of people with the mount, a lot of people with the wings, proof that people have already pre-purchased the expansion. So it's going to be a success. However, if they continue to strip and drab and then big bang only with the expansion, I don't know. I personally think for me, this may sway me one way or another. Cause at the end of the day, once you lift up and uncover and show the truth behind what's going on, this may potentially impact their future. So I think blizzard needs to be very cognizant of it. Now, if it's, if it's the one where it just happened this way, then this is not a problem. They're going to continue to drop content every season. People are going to be happy. And this is a useless discussion. But if indeed this is going to be their practice, this is something that players are going to recognize over time. After two or three expansions, they're going to realize it. And this may potentially impact their sales. So let me know what you think. Um, I don't know yet. I, I need to think about it more. But I want to hear what you think. Is this a stupid topic? Or do you see that this potentially could be the case? I wanted to get your feedback. Let me know what you think. I would love to hear it. Get in the comment section. And if you want to discuss, if you want to discuss, sorry, if you want to discuss this live, come and check out my live streams on Twitch every evening, Eastern Standard Time. I usually get on between 7 and 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Sammy Caps is the channel name on Twitch. We're trying to bang it out on Twitch. Help me grow my channel. I would appreciate your support. And on YouTube, if you could like, comment, and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. Our channel is growing nicely, but we need to grow more. We got bigger and better things to do, and I would love the support and i want you by me by my side helping me grow this channel to where it needs to go i would love your support so please if you could like comment and subscribe i would really appreciate it a lot of you a lot of you a lot of you watch my content and are not subscribers please help help a brother out i would appreciate it thanks anyway we'll see you in sanctuary thanks for watching take care the opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.